We've had plenty of peeks inside of what exactly Clark Kent, aka Superman, is going to look like when he's on set, fully suited up, and even being arrested. But now, let's shift over to his primary villain. Well, he might be the primary villain in this, we don't got the full story, but let's talk about Lex Luthor. <laughs> Now before we get to this, real ones know that there's only one true Lex when it comes to Superman, and it's none other than Lex Luger. Yes, the Narcissus himself. Nope, I didn't mispronounce Narcissist, that's just what they called him, the Narcissus. So, there you go, let me clarify that before the comments fill up. Anyways, let's get off of Lex Luger and let's talk about Lex Luthor. So, link down below, you guys can check out some brand new set photos of Lex and what he looks like on the set which has, as expected, drawn some uh, backlash because he is wearing a bald cap that's very clearly a bald cap that's like, you know, um, like shriveling on the back of his head underneath the uh, heat in Cleveland. But also what sticks out is the fact that he looks pretty beat up and he's got like scratch marks on his face, the back of his head, a little blood on there. Like he's definitely seen some combat here. Now again, we don't know what exactly is going on, who's been involved in this action sequence, but we can see that there's plenty of characters right there doing this action sequence from Rick Flagg Sr. to Ulysses or whoever he ends up being to Lex, um, other members of the Authority. So, um, you know, th there seems to be quite a lot going on on the set. Now, to me, he looks great because, make no mistake about it, if there are any wrinkles or anything in his uh, bald cap and, and they don't take care of it, they will be called out for it. But this is why you use CG. I mean, I've literally seen them use bald caps where there's still hair sticking out from the bottom. And it's fixed in post-production. So, it's fine. But also, we do in fact know that Nicholas Holt did actually shave his head. So, why are they doing this? Is it probably because... His head gets scarred up, like we're seeing in the photos, and there's going to be more scars, and they want to kind of uh, reflect that and not have to, I don't know, put giant gashes on his actual head. Probably. His hair's probably growing back, so they're kind of meeting in the middle with uh, practical and what they're going to do with special effects, and to me, that's fine. I think he honestly looks like Lex Luthor. He's bald, and that pretty much checks off what you need to look like Lex. So, um, yeah. I have no problem with this. He looks good. 